So how does Trump get away with kissing Vladimir Putin's ass at these rallies? The, I watched the last rally and what he said. I've watched him do everything but get down on his knee pads with Vladimir Putin. And, I'm, and I know why. Number one, there is a P tape. That's the first thing. Where'd this folder go? This folder that disappeared. It's almost impossible for you to imagine that a 10 inch folder of, with that kind of provenance <clears throat> and, and value could just disappear in the United States of America. Right? So he goes up and he's like, oh, Vladimir Putin, Vladimir Putin, Vladimir Putin. So do you know why he gets away with that? Well, unfortunately, I have to inform you that there are a lot of Americans who are undereducated, full of prejudice, hate, uh, xenophobia, their fear of the other, um, and they need something to be angry and mad about to say, yes, you're right to be mad about that. Well, what is that? What is the, the, the that? Well, they can't tell you. So they come up with a word, woke. And when you ask them to describe woke, they can't. So this is the actual problem in a nutshell. And unfortunately, it's the truth. The average Trumpy that I see at these rallies, okay, especially the ones that get asked pertinent questions and then their answers shock you because they're so ignorant, um, those people won't spend five seconds reading about the, the actual political situation in Russia. They won't spend five seconds educating themselves on what actually goes on in Russia. Or I can tell you right now, the most hardcore Trumpy in the fucking world would not be praising Vladimir Putin. And if you said Vladimir Putin in a, in a crowd and people actually understood what democracy is like in Russia, um, they would be booing Donald Trump. Literally, you would get the, the entire crowd if they would spend just five minutes understanding how free they are here. How free you are in the United States of America. Because they don't understand what happens in Russia. Why? Because they're not interested. You see, if you take away this person's reason to hate, what does that leave them with? You, it leaves them with an empty shell with nothing to fill it. No love, no understanding, no caring about others. That's not what they want. They want to hate the other. See, this is what Fox News provides every night. If you watch Fox News every night, right now you would think that America's in the shithole economically, and, and I find that pathetically laughable. Really, because you see, they're not news reports. They are opinions that are meant to sway you ignorant dicks that this is the truth. Why? Because you won't read for five minutes. You see, this is the truth. This is the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Okay, so you go to a Trump rally and you put up your stall and you're selling something that says uh, whatever Brandon, let's go Brandon. You would be arrested by the Biden administration. You would be sentenced to 15 years in a hardcore penal colony and you would be lucky to get out. Okay. That, I mean, that's the truth. I know you don't believe me, but that's the truth. If you got caught 
on any news channel, like we see constantly, saying, oh, Biden's, uh, Biden's uh, 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 an idiot, Biden economics sucks, you would be arrested and you would be sent to a penal colony for 15 years. You see, you, you have no idea how free you are and how valuable and how precious democracy is in the United States. Because you won't spend five minutes, I know you won't, all the preaching in the world, even if Donald Trump stood up there and said, look, I want you to go read about how the political system works in Russia and how people are basically just told, oh, so you said you wanted the streets in your city cleaned up. This is an actual case. This guy goes on Facebook and he says, the streets in my city have potholes and they need to be cleaned up. 15 years in a penal colony. For saying he wanted his streets fixed, 15 years in a penal colony. You see, you know about Moscow, but you don't know about rural Russia. The salaries in Moscow are five to nine times higher than any of the rural salaries that are in Russia, which is 98% of the rest of the population. You don't know that because you won't spend five minutes educating yourself, not five minutes. You see, if the United States was like Putin's Russia, where everything was done the right way by a strong leader, uh, Donald Trump would already have either fallen out of a window, been poisoned with a radioactive material, or simply shut away in a fucking prison for being a danger to Joe Biden's administration. No trial, no nothing. Or you would have a trial that would last two days and Donald Trump is gone. He's in a fucking penal colony. That is how Russia works. And you, you, you guys don't understand that. The Republican parties that go to, go to these rallies where he's talking about, he's saying words that are so reminiscent of Hitler and he's praising Putin and these people are eating it up like fucking candy. Why? Well, I'm going to tell you why. Because you're fucking ignorant. You have no idea of the value of of the democracy that you have here in the United States. None. There's no such thing as political activism. If Donald Trump stood up and said, F Joe Biden, within a matter of days, he would be arrested, he would be put in handcuffs, he would go through a sham trial, and he would be in prison right now today. And Joe Biden would go on to be president as long as he wanted to be president. And there's nothing, nothing any of you people who love Donald Trump could do about it. Because if you said something, okay, especially if you thought you were going to go out in the streets, okay, they would just mow you down with machine guns. You have no idea. Why? Because you're ignorant. I'm sorry. That's the truth. You, do, you, you have no understanding between when the Soviet Union collapsed and what the Russian people expected to happen and didn't because all of these, this oligarch circle formed and, and it got to be a, I'll, all this patting on each other's back. Okay, I'll pat your back, you pat my back, you pat my back. Joe Biden doesn't live in a trillion dollar fucking uh, castle with air defense systems and shit like that. Or, or do you not? I mean, how far out from reality do you, do you have to understand? He has a sports car and these guys are going fucking nuts about it. Vladimir Putin has a trillion dollar fucking compound. Do you not? You won't spend five minutes to educate yourself. Not five minutes. You have no idea what happens in Russia 
because you will not. I'll get right now. I'm I'm tell, I'm challenging you, but you won't, because you won't take me up on that challenge. Because you need something to hate, and it's other Americans, because they don't look like you, talk like you, eat the same food, or believe in the same God, and therefore they are not worth a uh, human life. You see, I'm kind of in a unique position because I look white as white can be. <clears throat> the trouble is, is I trace my ancestry back here, right over here, 35, 40 miles away. <clears throat> I trace my ancestry back here thousands of years. And I was sitting in bed, nine years old, reading about how they were scalping when two Indians at the government's request to get rid of them. You see... The Trumpies want to erase that. Because, you see, that is them. They are the scalpers. They are the people who would say, I'll do it. I'll scalp those. They're, they're, not, they're not human. They don't deserve to live. Those are the Trumpies. And you see, that person's not going to spend five minutes to understand that the Native Americans were here for 10,000 years before white people decided they wanted it. It's, it's shocking to me how these people want to be stupid. They, they desire to be ignorant. They need to be ignorant. Their greatest dream is to be more ignorant and more hateful. That is their dream, is to fucking hate America and what it stands for and what democracy stands for because they think they'll get to hate more that their hate will be justified by their great leader who is the head hater. Be careful what you wish for. You see, he don't care about you. There's not a single person in one of those rallies that Donald Trump gives a flying shit about. Not the tiniest little bit. If, 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 you, became, if you came between him and whatever he wants... I don't care if you're dressed in American flags with a, with a Let's Go Brandon t-shirt on, okay? You're, you're done. You're done. And you don't understand why you get to wear that t-shirt in public in the United States. Why you get to go to Trump rallies and sell shit that disparages the president of the United States. You have no idea what it's like in Russia. Why? Because you're ignorant. I could say it a thousand times and, it, and it's not going to be any, tr it's going to be, it's not going to make any sense to you whatsoever. But it's going to be just as true this time as the thousandth time I say it. Because you, number one, if you can read, okay, and you know, you're, uh, did you read the dossier? Uh, no, but I, other people read it and I trust them. Oh my God, you're a fucking retard. You don't deserve to vote. Man, you you're you're you don't you have no idea. You're not even educated enough to to look into something that is so important to the democratic process for the United States of America. Right now, we have a corrupt everything, and I understand why people got sick and tired and why they elected Donald Trump the first time. Okay, but you see, after he was in office for four years. Those of us who understood what he was doing and who he was, okay, that's why he lost by 7 million votes. Now, mark my words. Mark my words. Donald Trump is going to lose by 15 million votes minimum in 24. I am hoping and praying that he is the Republican nominee for president of the United States. I'm hoping and praying for that because I understand the real numbers. You guys think because you watch Fox News every night that 99% of Americans are, are these hateful, hate-filled, fucking ignorant, moronic people who don't care about democracy. That's what you really believe and think. But that's not the truth. You see, the majority of Americans are caring, loving, intelligent, democracy-loving people. The large, vast majority. You don't believe that, okay, because you don't want to believe it any more than you want to believe that if you wore Let's Go Brandon t-shirt down the street that you would put in a penal colony for 15 years like that. 
like that. So there's really nothing I can do but come on here and try to get a little therapy out of this, at least, okay? Um, I don't hate anybody. I don't hate anybody. Even I don't even hate Donald Trump. I don't hate Vladimir Putin. They are products of human society. This is where you end up, okay, when you don't have an educated population. I've always said, you know, we deserve everything we're getting. Um, if you go to states where, where Donald Trump is very popular, you're going to find out that you're fucking 49th in education. Highest death rate of babies. I mean, you name it, okay? Lowest pay rate. Uh, low, I mean, you're going to find out the fewest number of hospitals. But, but, but you see, you don't want to know that. You don't want to know the truth. The truth would destroy you and take away your, uh, your right or your reason, okay, your reasoning for hating so much. So, yeah, we deserve this because we ignored our education system for so long. And now what the Republicans want to do in some of these nut jobs is actually change that process so you cannot be educated in the truth. We just erase it from history. Do you know what Vladimir Putin brags about? Do you know what his number one thing that he brags about? Huh? Fighting the Nazis in World War II. Fighting the Nazis in World War II. That's what he has to brag about, and that's it. He's got nothing else to brag about. <laughs> that's it. That's what his speech is. That's how he, this is it. This is all he has. He has nothing else. He's got no good news. He's got no future. He's got nothing other than this is what we did at one time, and we're great. I find that so pathetic. I find that just so damn pathetic. You know what I mean? What if Joe Biden got up and was started doing a speech about World War II and how we beat the Nazis in World War II, World War II, World War II? Everyone would think that man was goddamn nuts. That he he's completely lost it. He didn't want to, don't want to talk about Vietnam. Damn sure don't want to talk about. Iraq or Afghanistan. <laughs> you see, you don't, you don't appreciate the freedoms and the rights you have. I'm not going to wear a mask. Well, it wasn't for you. It wasn't for you. It was for everyone else. Well, I'm not going to wear one. It's, it's all a conspiracy. COVID's Design, COVID was COVID, COVID, COVID was all it's, all, it's all fake. It's all so, it's all just made up to control us. You have no fucking idea how lucky you are that you can actually say that shit and not go to a penal colony. So anyway, I feel better. I needed to get that off my chest, okay? Um... I just, you know, I just have to vent now and again because I understand the truth. I understand, thankfully, I understand that the vast majority of Americans are not fucking nut jobs. They're not uneducated morons. They're not, they don't hate democracy. They don't want to hate other people. They just want to go on about their lives, get their bills paid, make sure their kids are happy, clean, dressed, and get to education. That's all. They don't spend their time going to rallies, uh, uh, screaming, uh, build a wall, because walls work both ways. You do understand that, right? <laughs> you have no idea what goes on in Russia. And every time I hear Trump mention Putin, I'm wondering, does he really know what goes on in Russia? And I start thinking, yeah, he does. And he wants to be just like Vladimir Putin. He wants to be able to take those people that say something against him and just put them in a penal colony. Fuck you, you're gone. Or poison them or kill them or throw them out of a fucking window. 
And I'm like, yeah, that's what he wants. That's exactly, that's exactly what he wants. And if you think that's okay, well, again, like I said, you're an idiot. 